My Sigma order finally arrived. Yeah, I mentioned that Sigma was having a really good sale, and so I made my first purchase. I've never ordered from Sigma before, so I'm really excited to try these products out. This is how everything came packaged. It's a really nice black box, everything nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. I ordered one of their nine pan palettes also got two of the cream blushes. The blushes are one of the things I have really, really been wanting to try for a while since they first launched. And I also picked up a bronzer. As you guys know, I've been on a bronzer kick lately. So we're going to be trying out all of that. Sigma sent me some really cool little free gifts of purchase. One of the things they sent me was the F30 Large powder brush. I've not used either brushes from Sigma, so I'm used to trying this out and seeing what the quality is like. I've heard a lot of really good things about Sigma brushes, so I'm excited about that. They also sent me a Sigmatic brush shampoo, so a little sample of that, and then the makeup brush cleanser and tool, which deep de cleans makeup brushes, all natural formula, gentle and effective, and it looks like it's like the soap with like a sponge on the top and I guess you just rub the brushes over them to clean. I have a little less than half of the cleansing bar left of the brush soap that I'm currently using. It's the one from AOA Studio so looking forward to trying out a new brush cleanser and then we have this little pamphlet in here and it just shows some of the products that Sigma has and just kind of talks about the brand so we have that too all right so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go in ahead and dive into trying out the bronzer i have all of my base products done up onto bronzer so we're gonna try that out and just go ahead and get started because I'm, I'm really excited about trying out this brand. Sigma is one of those brands that's more on the luxury high-end scale and if you guys have been with me for any period of time I'm sure you know and have noticed that I don't really showcase a lot of high-end makeup. I'm just taking everything out of the bubble wrap. I've done Patrick Ta, House Labs, One Size, but as far as like the super high-end level like Natasha Denona, you know, Pat McGrath, Tom Ford. I haven't done any of that. Mainly because, one, it's high-end, so it's pretty pricey. I'm just not ready yet to drop $70 on a Natasha Denona palette. That's just not where I am in my journey yet. And also, the majority of luxury higher-end brands are not cruelty-free. And when I started my YouTube channel, one of the things that was important to me was to be a cruelty-free channel. I don't really judge what anybody else does, does with their channel. I mean, most of the channels that I watch are not cruelty-free. You know, that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. But for me, I want it to be a cruelty-free channel. And a lot of higher-end brands are just not cruelty-free. So that kind of limits me to what I can try out. But yeah, Sigma is... A cruelty free brand so we're excited about that so bronzer this is the matte bronzer in dark i don't remember exactly how many shades they have but they did have a pretty decent shade range as far as bronzers are concerned very nice packaging feels nice and luxe this is what the product is looking like you have sigma embossed on the inside i'm just going to take this flat top brush from AOA Studio. Tap off the excess. If you guys watched the Perfusion portfolio video that I did, I went way too heavy with the bronzer on first application. Had to like take my sponge and bring it down. So sort of lightly blend this in. Well, that's a good shade. It's warm and toasty. Not too light, not too dark. Like I said, this was the dark shade. I think it's I think it's a really nice shade for me. So we're just going to buff that in. It's blending in beautifully. It's not going on like too heavily pigmented. Just the right amount of pigment. Like I said, the tone is actually really good. I like that. I like a nice kind of a toasty, warm toned bronzer. I don't like anything too cool or too neutral. I'm going to take just a little bit of the product and go across my, the bridge of my nose. I like to do that because this is an area where the sun will like naturally hit. So warm. So I like to warm up that area as well. Moving into the cream blushes. I picked up two shades. There are four shades all together. It's funny because Sigma sent me an email yesterday that said if you ordered that day and used the code, you could get the cream blushes for 40% off. And these, I think, are $30. So that would have actually been a really good deal. But, of course, I hadn't tried them yet, so I didn't want to order, you know, another shade 
without having actually tried the formula yet. So maybe we'll be able to use that code again in the future. This is what the outer packaging is looking like, the carton that the product comes in. Compacts and it's really light, pretty kind of shiny baby pink. It's really pretty. The shades that I picked up are Coral Dawn. So this is more of a coral shade and then Pashmina. Like looking on camera, they look kind of similar to each other, but this one is definitely more soft baby pink and this is definitely more coral. And since I picked up a palette that has more green in it, a little bit more warmth, I'm going to go with this shade. I am going to swash them though, because I want to see if the formula is like super creamy, super balmy. Ooh, that is a bright, bright pink. Ooh, looks brighter in the swatch than it does in the pan. And this is the coral one. I've heard a lot of good things about the Sigma Cream Blush for me. It's one of those things that I've been really wanting to try, so very excited to give it a try in this video. I'm going to use this angled brush from Perfusion. This is one of the, this is the type of brush that I like to use for cream blushes, and I'm going to dip in and just start lightly tapping where we don't know for sure what the pigment's going to be like on the cheek. Ooh! I will say that the shade is not looking too different from this one on, you know, going on. It, the formula is beautiful. It's blending beautifully. I'm getting a nice amount of pigment. And it's just a slight, a slight bit of a glow. I do wish, though, that it was deeper in tone. It's a very light kind of a shade, very light kind of a tone, but beautiful for the springtime. You know, a little bit more pigment on this cheek. I'm loving the way that it's looking. I'm loving the way that it's blending. But yeah, it's very pink. Not quite as coral as I thought. That may have just been, you know, a me thing, you know, when it comes to picking out shades. But it's beautiful. I do like the way that it's blending. So far, I can say that I'm not disappointed in my first Sigma Cream Blush formula. I don't think I'm going to pick up any more shades, though. I think as far as the amount of pigment, it's just not enough for me. I like something a little bit deeper, but it is beautiful. It is really, really pretty. I don't remember exactly how many palettes that Sigma launched in this particular series, but this one is the Earthy Eyeshadow Palette. I picked this one up because I really liked the more greener tones in this one, the more earthy vibe, and that really pretty green shade in the middle just really caught my eye. If I can get it out of the box. So this is what the palette is looking like. Right off the bat, I will say I'm a little disappointed in this packaging. It's cardboard but kind of very lightweight and kind of flimsy like i expected something a little more luxury considering the, the fact that sigma is a more luxury brand so i will say i'm a little disappointed in the packaging like even this part right here the window is plastic so that's a little disappointing but i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids real quick using my milani eyeshadow primer and then we will jump into putting together a look I did want to mention real quick before we jumped into the eye look, the formula on the cream blushes, it actually, it doesn't like set down, but it doesn't feel like sticky or anything. Like it has a slight, not even emollient feel, just, just a very slight kind of a light creamy kind of a feel to the cheek. It's kind of silky. I do like the way that's feeling and it does have a slight glow like it really gives you a skin like finish like it doesn't look like blush on top of your skin it just looks like a natural flush of color which i will say i am enjoying all right now for the eyeshadow so it looks like we have four mattes one two three four and then the five there in the middle are all shimmers i'm going to take sun baked right here which looks like a grungy yellowy military khaki light green into the crease and then take this one on the outer corner so let's start with this one so sun baked and then shadowy we'll also say that i'm not like super wowed by the color story either i'm not looking at this going wow this isn't this is amazing but i did know what i was ordering when i ordered it so you know can't really complain i'm gonna take this fluffy brush and we're just gonna go into sun baked and just start slowly going back and forth into our crease just a slight bit of fallout, not a lot. Have any of you guys used Sigma shadows? If you have, or Sigma in general, like any of their formulas, whether it be shadows, blushes, highlighters, anything. What has your experience been with 
Sigma as far as their products. Have you been impressed? Have you been underwhelmed? Um, this particular shade right here, it's not really going on like very pigmented. I mean, you can see it, but I feel like I'm really having to build. It's blending out fine. Like it's, I'm not having an issue with the blending. I just feel like I'm really having to build up the shade. I'm just kind of going in and the crease and just like a windshield wiper motion, just blending it out. I'm going to take a little bit more and just kind of go a little bit further than my brow. I'm going to take my Beauty Bay detailed brush here and go into shadowy and just start slowly blending that into the outer corner. So I'm going to tap it. This one has kind of a purplish, kind of a gray undertone to it. I thought that it was more green, but it's actually a little bit more purple eggplant kind of a grayness to it. It's packing on really nicely and there's a lot of pigment. I'm going to start blending it into the crease. Add a little bit more depth to this outer corner. So far, I'm going to be really honest. I'm not particularly wowed by this particular formula. I've not used one of like the bigger, more higher end palettes. I know come in more luxe packaging, you know, because this is my first time using Sigma. So I don't know what the formula is like in those palettes, but yeah, I can't say that I'm super, super impressed with this formula. I've used formulas from brands that are much less expensive brands, even from like indie formulas that just, I don't know, they just pack more of a punch and they give me more of a wow factor. I'm just a little bit more impressed. I feel like with this formula, it's just not doing a whole lot for me. So do any of you guys have any plans for Mother's Day? Today is the day before Mother's Day. So tomorrow is Mother's Day. You will be seeing this video on Tuesday after Mother's Day. Tonight, my husband is taking me out to eat because he will have to work tomorrow to like around five or six. But my daughter is taking me out to brunch on Mother's Day. She's been like really, really excited about doing that. This will be her first time just really like taking me out to eat somewhere, you know, just a little mother-daughter time. Of course, you know, the 10-year-old is coming too. But yeah, I'm excited about that. She keeps asking me what I want for Mother's Day. I'm pretty easy to shop for. At least I think I am. But yeah, she's been like, what do you want for Mother's Day, Mom? Is there anything that your heart really desires? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about Mother's Day. I do like the tone of that shade. I think it's really, really pretty. The formula itself is just not, you know, knocking, knocking my socks off or anything. All right, now for the shimmers. I'm really excited about the green shade in the middle right here. That was the shade that just really caught my eye when I was looking at the palettes. Most of them are like pretty neutral. None of the palettes are really jumping out at me, but I did want to try a Sigma eyeshadow formula and this green right here just really caught my attention. So I'm going to use this flat brush. Got this from, it's part of a doe color set that I got from Amazon. I'm going to go on to my eyelid first, just on its own before like wetting it or anything and seeing what the pigment is like. Like what the shimmer is like. Oh, okay. There we go. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys are getting that on camera, if you're seeing what I'm saying. It's a very soft, like, limey green with, like, flecks of gold. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that's pretty. There's also, like, flecks of, like, blue and, like, a little bit of purple in there. It's, like, very multifaceted. I wouldn't call it a multi-chrome. It's more like, you know, a, a metallic shimmer with, like, little flecks of kind of micro glitter in it. It's very, very pretty. Wasn't particularly impressed with the mattes, but this shimmer is absolutely stunning. I am going to go ahead and wet this, though. I just like to see how a shadow performs with a dry brush and a white brush as far as the shimmers. Wetting the brush can, like, help adhere to the eyelid better as well as add more shine. Oh, that's pretty. If you have used the Sigma eyeshadow form before, what are some of your favorite palettes from the brand? Is there any one like in a, one in particular just really stands out to you that I think that you think I should try? Because I definitely would like to try some more shadows from Sigma. I don't want to base, you know, my entire review of what I think about the brand on this one palette that I've tried. I would like to try more from the brand. So let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite Sigma palette. I might see if I can 
pick one of those up and try those out but this green it is so pretty I'm going to take this flat brush and go into Will-O-Wisp. By the way, that shade was called Moss. So I'm going to now go into Will-O-Wisp and lay that in the inner portion of the eye. And I'll probably just make that my inner corner as well. That one is more of like your typical kind of a taupey rose. Not rose, but champagne. Has more of a kind of a brassiness too. Like a bronzy, like kind of a, a not copper, like a brassy bronze to it. That's pretty. I like how creamy that shade is. I'm going to go back in with that shade, uh, the brush that had Smoky on it. I have not added any more product to it. I just want to make sure everything is blended together. The shadow is complete. I'm going to go off camera, throw something in my waterline, do my wing, throw my lashes, something on my lips, and then I'll, we'll come back and I will let you guys know my kind of final first impressions of using Sigma for the very first time. I realized when I was doing my liner that I never actually put on my highlighter. I didn't pick up a new highlighter from Sigma, so I just grabbed this one from Glow Baby. This is the AOA Studio Liquid Highlighter. This is currently in my Project Empty, so I just took a little bit of that on like the higher parts of my cheekbones. In my waterline, I'm using one of my cream gel liners from ColourPop. I'm not exactly sure what the shade name is. I think it's Two Can Do It. It's from that like Tropical Paradise collection that they launched a few years ago. Very pretty, bright green. I thought that would kind of bring in the green on the top and just kind of tie everything in. My lashes are the Whisper Wink Vegan Meat Collection from Salon Perfect. I've used these many times. I've really been enjoying these. For my wing, I pulled out my epic ink liner from NYX. I haven't used this in a while. This and the AOA Studio Artista liner are by far my favorites and my lips combination of the lip pencil from Persona in 90210. It's just a perfect brownish nude and then my lipstick is from Beauty Bay. It's, it's a very pretty peachy nude sunset. I thought that would go well with this look. Now as far as my overall thoughts after using Sigma for the first time I really love the bronzer. I'm loving this very natural, healthy, bronzy glow that it's giving me. It's not too little. It's not too much. I'm loving this. The formula blended beautifully. So this was definitely a hit. And then the cream blushes. I Once again, I picked up two. You have Pashmina, which is that pretty pink, and then Coral Dawn, which is the one that I'm currently using on my cheeks now. The formula, it is absolutely beautiful. Blend it like a dream. I love the way that it feels. Like it didn't completely set down, but it's not sticky. It's not tacky. The formula still feels very nice on the cheek. I love the glow. If you are someone that likes kind of a subtle, very natural, you know, blushy glow to your cheek, I think you will absolutely love these. But if you're someone that wants something that's a little more pigmented, something that packs a little bit more of a punch, this one might not be for you. I like both formulas. It just kind of depends on what I'm going for. This will be absolutely beautiful for those days. And I just want a very soft kind of a no makeup, healthy, glowy look. And I'm not usually in to glowy formulas, but I think this is absolutely beautiful. The eyeshadow palette is the only thing that I would say I'm not particularly wowed by. The mattes, while they did blend beautifully, I have mattes in my collection, you know, from ColourPop, from other less expensive brands, from like indie brands that just blended. And I just felt like, I just feel like we're giving more of a pop, more of an impact. These just didn't really wow me, but I did love the shimmers, that sparkly mossy shade in the middle that is absolutely beautiful as is will-o-wisp which is the shade that i have in the inner part of the eye the main my main disappointment with this though is this packaging it's very very cheap cardboard the window is cheap plastic while this is not one of the most expensive you know palettes from the brand i still feel like they could have done a little bit more with the outer packaging that's a little bit disappointing overall i did enjoy trying sigma for the first time once again let me know what are some of your favorite products from sigma that you think i should try i was looking at this matte liquid lipstick trio but it was sold out and there wasn't really anything else as far as lips that was standing out to me but definitely let me know what some of your favorite Sigma products are and I will definitely pick pick up some of them and try some more products from the brand because yeah I did enjoy trying this brand for the first time it was a lot it was a lot of fun that is going to be it for this video let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it what you thought about the products that I used today have you used any of the products that I used today if you enjoyed the video definitely give the video a thumbs up it really does help with the channel if you are new to the channel and you're not already subscribed I would love it if you would consider joining my little family and hitting subscribe and make Make sure you tap the notification bell as well so you will
will not miss anything coming up in the future. You can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.